Well, here we are. I've got today the EK Slim 240 kit. Now, they were launched a couple of months back, these, and I've been wanting one for my ITX build. Because I plan on putting this the 970 GTX in out of my uh, rig, as you've probably seen, I've got a 1080 now. So, yeah, trying to water cool the ITX computer. Now, in this box, they should be EK Supremacy Universal Block, the EK Cool Stream, SE240 Slim Radiator, two of the Vardar fans, the Raise Pump Combo, the uh, Two meters tubing, fittings, coolant, and bridging plug, Allen keys, PWM splitter cables, all the all the usual stuff you'd expect from a high-end water cooling kit. All right, well, in the box, here's the uh, the tubing, the, the SATA or SATA to a three pin. These are the fitting. Split cable, the ATX bridging plug for jump starting your power supply so you can leak test without fear of blowing up your computer. Nickel plated compression fittings. A mount for the uh, bit of sort of pump is that, and some of EK's cooling. The CPU block, the hardware screws. Rings, various uh, hardware configurations. Back plate, I think that's for the AMDs, that one. That's normally your outlet on the EK blocks. Copper base. It's so got a nice finish on that. EK's own thermal goop. So we've got the insert for the water block. I think they normally set up for uh, Intel, so I've got an AMD set up, so I will have to uh, take the CPU block apart and pop that in. More back plates. Pump raise combo. Instruction booklet. Here's the, uh, the unit itself. It's your uh, out and in. Got your feet here. It's not very long, is that? But you do. An extension with it, the anti cyclone foam, and the Allen key. Although, what you'd use that Allen key, I don't know because you've only got one inlet and one outlet with that, so I don't know what you'd actually use that big Allen key for. A rather large Allen key, still the mounting screws with the fan, and finally. EK Coolstream SE Slim Dual Radiator. Nice slim radiator there. Let's see the thickness. It's not very thick at all. You see, it makes it perfect for um, ITX builds like mine. We'd have a lot of space because obviously, once you get the fan on there, it's going to be pretty thick. Because these kits are. Primarily for beginners, really, because if you want a kit but you don't know, you're confused by fittings and what have you, these kits are perfect. Obviously, I buy it because it's cheaper just to buy everything with it, but it is a very detailed step by step instructions for installing your um, water cooling kit. I mean, if it's your first time installing water cooling kit, the only advice I can give you is take your time. Don't rush anything. It's not a race. Just take your time and you'll be fine. Read the instructions, do everything properly, make sure everything's tight and secure and you shouldn't have any problems really. So yeah, that's the uh, EK240 Slim kit. I'm uh, hoping that it'll... Uh, be all right with that uh, 970 in there as well. I suppose we'll find out. If not, I'll, uh, I'm sure I might be a squeeze the radiator in somewhere. If you uh, like this video, 
Don't forget to like and subscribe and any comments are always welcome. Thank you.